Hello everyone, it's Shannon Thomas from Natural Wellness Solutions for Kids. Welcome. This week we've been talking about uh, mental health because it's Mental Health Week. Um, but I thought I would jump on and show you. I've actually got to make up a few blends. Uh, a couple of them are new and a couple of them I'm just topping up because we've run out. And I thought I'd show you. So we use these particular blends and others just to support us emotionally. So you can use essential oils for emotional purposes and that's what I tend to use them more often than for therapeutic or cleaning and that sort of stuff. I love um, using them emotionally. It's the quickest and easiest way um, to use them, particularly if you've got a diffuser. I've got a diffuser going behind me. I've got a diffuser pretty much in every room, uh, boys room, lounge room, our bedroom. So I can put on any particular oil or oil blend and that will help affect our moods, emotions and behaviours very, very quickly just by inhaling um, the aroma that's circulating within the room. So I love diffusing. I use the diffuser every morning and night. So obviously mornings I will pop on oils that are uplifting, energising, motivating, focusing all that sort of stuff just to get us ready for the day and get our minds and emotions ready for the day um in a more happy <laughs> happy mood um and then the afternoon i tend to put on more sort of calming relaxing oils um pretty much as soon as we get home from work i'll pop the diffuser on straight away in the lounge room or in the second lounge room if the boys are sitting in that area there so calming just to help um Rest their mind, rest that sort of mental chatter that's sort of going on or all that um, pent up emotion that they've kept inside at school just to help just slow them down a little bit and unwind pretty much. And for us as well. Um, so I'll put on the sort of calming, grounding, balancing oils sort of late afternoon or evening and then evening, depending on I might use the same sort of oils, or I might change it up and put on more of a sleepy sort of uh, blend in their bedrooms or our bedroom. So I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, because we're talking about mental health, um, I have looked up the Symphony of Cells. This is what I do like a, a spinal treatment on Andrew and the boys. More often I have used it for like respiratory or um, any sort of illnesses in there. But this has actually got a few... Um, protocols in here that you could try for mental health now obviously I can't um, list particular ail ailments but uh, due to compliance but just think all the sort of mental health issues that come up and I will tell you what um, protocols you could use if you've got this book I really recommend this book I love doing spinal treatments on Andrew and the boys basically it's tells you what the ailments are list the oils individually on and apply them individually uh, across the back and just rub them in and then um, sometimes it will tell you to get them to inhale the oil and then put the excess oil on rub on the bottoms of their feet so it's a layering process and there is obviously science behind that um, but it is amazing so it, it tends to sort of kick in after about three days um, but if there's you've got an issue then i would do it two to three times a week until that sort of issue subsides so um this one not so much c2 not so much g no digestive no mv Emobic. So you could use the Emobic protocol for mental health issues. The forgiveness protocol. You might want to use hormone balance protocol. What's this one? Concussion. Uh, 
neurological protocol sensory this is a this goes sensory protocol i actually have done that a couple of times on finn because finn has uh sensory processing disorder uh so i do that occasionally on finn because he gets gets quite overwhelmed and uh and solar protocol so there's quite a few protocols and spinal treatments you can perform on your loved ones uh from this book so i highly recommend that so i'm going to make up um, a roller for myself i am waiting for the new adaptive uh mental wellness range so it's a, a roller a touch roller an oil blend and some capsules but i'm going to make up something that will help me in the meantime for anxious feelings and i'm going to keep this in my handbag so i'm just reusing a wild orange five mil bottle it is almost empty um pretty much every bottle that you finish there's about 10 drops that you can't get out so i'm going to top this up so we're going to use wild orange so wild orange is fantastic um, for anxious feelings i'm just going to take this dropper off and i'm going to combine it with frankincense these two together are very very powerful for anxious feelings so that's why i'm making it up for myself you could use this a lot of other oils you can use cheer and all that sort of stuff but these two together are spot on so i'm going to so wild orange actually i'll read out the emotional properties is the oil of abundance it addresses a variety of emotional issues um brings spontaneity fun joy joy and playfulness into one's life it's the negative emotions it addresses are scarcity overly serious rigid dull workaholic lack of energy discouraged hoarding or envious so it is a very um, energizing oil, wild orange, and frankincense is the king of oils. He's a good all-rounder. Uh, so when in doubt, add some frankincense to anything that you're making. Here's the oil of truth. Um, negative emotions he addresses are abandoned, spiritually disconnected, distant from father, unprotected, spiritual darkness, or misaligned. Um, so I'm going to add frankincense so i'm going to add about 10 drops of frankincense to this blend 10 and then top with fractionated coconut oil grab a pump if you can for the fractionated coconut oil makes it so much easier and then you can actually buy these roller tops that fit your actual doTERRA bottles so pop that on and it comes with a lid like that so this is going to be my new roller until i get adaptive oh beautiful for my anxious feelings so i'm going to keep that in my handbag easy peasy that one is done next one i want to make is for the kids we do a sleep uh sensory overload uh roller so i'm just going to take the top roller off so this is when you use about half an hour or so before bed it is frankincense and lavender together those two together are going to be your godsend i'm going to put um 10 drops in total uh so i like to for kids i'm going off say finn's age roughly about 10 you would do one drop per year of their age so i'm doing 10 drops for because finn is almost 10 in a 10 mil roller so we'll do five of each five frank five lav lavender so you can get what this means five lavender so you understand that sleep and sensory overload so when the kids come home from school or or whatever from the end of the day they are overloaded from school they may be a little bit out of control they may unravel i do have an unraveling blend as well and it's just they're just being overloaded and they have trouble sleeping and getting to sleep and just I guess relaxing enough to get to sleep and get a good quality sleep so i like to use this i actually probably use this more on uh cody i like to uh roll it along his spine massage that in and then i'm just going to turn these lights down um 
pop it on his wrist as well. So when he's lying asleep, he's going to um, inhale that aroma on his wrist. So that's what I like to do uh, for the boys. So that was Sleep Rinse Sensory Overload Blend, Lavender and Frankincense. It's a really good one for kids. So that is that blend that I've made up. Now I'm going to make one for myself. This is our ever popular, you probably can't see, happy blend. Uh, we will show you how to make this at the hormone make and take and you will have the opportunity to make it as well. So this is mood balancing, hormone balancing, bit of everything. Um, <laughs> and it smells beautiful and it's a, it makes a very natural, nice natural perfume. So we're going to use Elevation. So obviously Elevation is five drops this is probably one of our most popular uh, blends citrus bliss citrus bliss is an invigorating blend we're going to use whisper whisper is a blend for women I might actually look up whisper yes quickly I don't think I've actually looked it up much. Whisper is the oil of femininity. Uh, softens overly masculine individuals by getting them in touch with their feminine side. Let's go to pride and tough exteriors. Allows gentleness and emotional connection. Is also particularly helpful when dealing with issues that manifest as anger, hostility, or resistance towards women. I've actually got um, Whisper diffusing. It's actually the first time I'm diffusing Whisper on its own. Um, assists individuals in healing their relationships with their mothers, grandmothers, and other women. Helps reconnect with their mother when there has been. Um, Invites women to heal wounds and find balance by reconnecting with positive femininity. <laughs> so it's a blend. It's got patchouli, bergamot, sandalwood, rose, vanilla, jasmine, cinnamon, vetiver, labdanum, cocoa, and ylang ylang. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to put five drops in here. If it comes out. Five, beautiful. Smells like white must sticks. Uh, next, we're going to do five drops of balance. Balance is our grounding blend. Everyone that has kids, hi kids. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> balance is our grounding blend. So anyone that has kids, two, three, four, five, needs balance. I use balance. I've got a um, smooth transitions uh, roller that we use when you're um, next emotionally that could help them transition. But better, it's a bit like um, same blend or similar blend to my uh, Monster Juice. Monster Juice has um, uh, balance and citrus bliss. Smooth transitions is balance and world orange so very very similar that is the happy blend that is for me <laughs> and just yeah i just want to feel happy so <laughs> why not put that on all right so that is our very popular blend now i'm making up a new blend i've just heard this recently i just happened to be watching a video of a concoction of peace console and forgive being applied to a child which happened to just calm that child down like almost instantly. So I thought I'm going to try. Usually I do have a peace roller uh, made up. Peace is our, our reassuring uh, blend. It is great for anxious feelings. It is great to use for kids in particular. That and balance are my two favorites for dealing with um, anxious feelings and all that sort of stuff and worry. So peace. And we're going to use our console. Console is our comforting blend. So if there has been 
um, any sort of loss or trauma uh, within the family or within the home console is a great one to use for that time um, and then we're going to use forgive as well which is our renewing blend obviously if there's any sort of resentment or anger um, you could grab at your forgive as well so we're going to combine all of those I'm going to do one in a roller and then one in a room spray so my aim is to use this on the boys when they are um, angry, overwhelmed, upset, those sort of feelings. I'm going to use, I'm making up two things, a roller and a spray. A roller, if I can get it on them topically, I will. But if I can't, if they're not in the right mind frame that they don't want to be touched, they want, don't want me near, near them, at least I can spray in their room that they're in and then they can inhale and benefit it from that way so either way it's a win-win in terms of getting them um the benefits from them so, uh roller just to make it drops uh, i'll do four drops of each so I'll do peace it's a thick oil two three four and I actually do the same in the spray bottle. I should do five in the spray bottle because the spray bottle is a bit bigger. I could probably even do more. So that was console. Two, three, four. Five, I'm at six, eight. I might actually do eight of each in this bottle. So I'll just grab the piece out. So I'm really interested to try this uh, blend. So this is forgive. I'm almost out of forgive. So hopefully I've got enough. I might have to take the top off. Top off. So I'm almost out. What happens when you take the top? Four, five, six. That's all we're getting out of that one. All right, so with this one, we're going to top up with fractionated coconut oil. Hi. You want to come say hello? Hello. And then we'll put our roller top on that one. And then just roll it like that. Yeah. Beautiful. I just made up a new blend for you. What, what is it for? It's got uh, Peace Console and Forgive in it. Why? Oh, you like Peace. Alright, so that. And then with the spray, I'm actually going to top. Yes. With, um, no, Witch Hazel. So witch hazel is a natural preservative. You can use cooled boiled water. Or... Come on, off you go. Oh, off you go. It is rain, and I've got a pump to go in here. Like so. Oh, that smells good. All right, so we're going to give that a go and see how that works. So that is just my Forgive Peace Console Room Spray. And then we just made up a roller as well. So that is it I'll show you tonight. There's obviously lots and lots of different combinations you can use to support you or your kiddos emotionally um, during times of anxious feelings, stress, tension, anger, frustration, negative thoughts, all that sort of stuff. We have... A bucket load of essential oils that you can use to support you during time those times I highly 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 encourage you to grab this book um, emotions and essential oils this is my Bible <laughs> for oils it lists every single oil and their emotional properties uh, what negative emotions it addresses the positive properties of the oil companion oils and it does give you suggested ways to use it 
it is a must have if you want to use your essential oils um, emotionally and benefit them from them that way. But anyway, please sing out if you've got any questions or if you have any, not issues, but some questions or that your kids are struggling with, you're struggling with, or you want some advice, please um, drop in the comments below or send me a private message on um, private message on message on more than happy to help give you some suggestions on how uh, These beautiful products can help you and your kiddos. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful night and we will see you again soon. Bye